Eileen Cooper was also at the Abrams Preview Luncheon in Philadelphia at the ALA Midwinter Meeting. Known as a book list editor for many of those in attendance at ALA, Eileen talks about her newest book, A Woman in the House. Familiar faces. Uh, most of you know I'm also an editor at Booklist, so for the three previous authors, they're really young and enthusiastic. I'm just pretty much cold <laughs> and exhausted, but I will try to rise to the occasion here uh, to tell you about my book, A Woman in the House, and seven. Um, Howard Reeves, my editor, was just saying the, uh, that he, the other day he was going, going through some of his papers and he found the original contract for this book, which was supposed to be 48 pages. <laughs> and you can see it grew a little. Uh, what happened was that um, I had read a book about uh, Jeanette Rankin, who was the first woman in Congress. She came to Congress in 1960 before women across the United States got the right to vote. And I thought, well, that's an interesting story. Um, and then I thought, well, it would be you know, nice to write about some of the first um, Patsy Mink, the first woman of color who came to Congress, and uh, Shirley Chisholm, first African-American woman who came to Congress, uh, Elizabeth Ro uh, Isabel Ross Latham, the first Hispanic woman. Um, but as I started to get into the research, I realized that just doing little vignettes about these women didn't really mean anything without context. And so the more I wrote, the more I decided we had to say what was happening in the country as these women were coming to Congress in the book got a little bit longer and a little bit longer, and I think, what do we top out, maybe 125 pages, something like that. Uh, one thing that fascinated me to find out as I was doing the research, when women first came to Congress, and they came sort of one at a time, or they came because their husbands died and they got to fill the seat while um, the next man was going to come and take it over. Um, they were accepted, you know, they were, there were so few of them that they were either ignored or like, you know, hi. But the, as more and more women kept coming, the hostility grew. And by the time of the 70s, the year, and the year of the woman, it really was quite a hostile situation. And on page 73 of, of the book, I talk about um, in past decades, women in Congress might not always have been welcomed by their male counterparts, but most were treated politely. Now that women through American society were demanding their rights instead of asking for them, many men were getting hostile. This was true in Congress as well. When Pat Schroeder was appointed to the Armed Services Committee, the chairman, Edward Heber from Louisiana, actually made her and Ron Dellums an African-American representative from California share one chair during their first meeting because he said women and blacks were worth only half of one regular member and deserved only half a seat. As Schroeder wrote later, nobody else objected and nobody offered to scrounge up another chair. Wow. And there's actually quite a good picture of it in here. So as I was um, finishing up the book, and throughout the book, the number of women in Congress had always gone up and up and up. And just about the time I was finishing the book, in 2010, for the first time, the number of women in Congress went down. And I thought, well, that's a hell of a way to end the book. <laughs> But fortunately, the 2012 election came, the number, number went back up again. So um, I learned a lot. I hope you and, you and your young patrons will learn a lot. And I really want to thank Abrams for making this such a beautiful book. Um, yeah. They always do beautiful books, but I mean, just the paper, you know, <clears throat> even the little lines here on the edges kind of made me cry. They were so beautiful. So um, I thank them very much, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Once again, that was Eileen Cooper talking about her new book with Abrams, A Woman in the House and Senate. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Ed Spicer. 
Thank you, Jason Wells. Thank you, Eileen Cooper.